Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discuss how you can set up your WhatsApp business API without any technical knowledge. And if you're not familiar with what WhatsApp business API is, you can watch my previous video where I've explained everything in detail. Link of the video is available in the description box. Before starting the setup process, you must have the following six things ready with you. Mobile number. The number you want to use for the business API should not have any existing WhatsApp account. And if a WhatsApp account is already exist, you have to uninstall it. Next is Facebook account. You must have a Facebook account where we will create a business ID. Next, website. A functional website is necessary. Even if it's just a single page, the website must be secured, means it should have the HTTPS. Next is credit card. A credit card is required to add to your Facebook account, which Meta will use to deduct message charges periodically. Next is KYC document. To create a business ID, legal business name is required. Hence, you must have a GST number, PAN card. Next is active contact of KYC. The mobile number or email ID linked to the KYC document should be active since you will receive an OTP on it for the verification purpose. Once you have all these things, you can proceed with the setup process. First, log in to Facebook account. After logging in, click on See More Options in the left sidebar and then scroll down to click on Meta Business Suite. If this option is not available, click on Pages and then select Meta Business Suite. Now, click on the Business Asset Options located in the top left corner just below the Meta Business Suite. Next, click on Create a Business Portfolio. In the Business Portfolio name field, enter a name for your portfolio. While you can use any name following Meta's guideline, Meta strongly recommend using your business registered or publicly known name. Then, enter your first name, surname and business email address and click on Create. If you want to link any Instagram or Facebook page to this business portfolio, select it here and click on Next. However, this is not mandatory for setting up the WhatsApp Business API. Review your detail and click Next. Finally, click on Confirm. Your business portfolio has been successfully created. After creating your business portfolio, you need to add your business details. First, click on the Business Assets option and then select the Business Setting options located in the front of Business Portfolio. Next, click on Business Portfolio Info. In the Business Details section, click on Edit option and here, you need to fill in your business register detail. After entering the required information, click on Save. Now, scroll down and ensure that your email address is verified. If the email is not verified, go to your email inbox and click on the Confirm Now button to complete the verification process. Next step is to create the app on Facebook Developers Platform. For this, you need to search developers.facebook.com. In the top right corner, click on Get Started. Click on Continue to proceed. Then click on the checkbox and then click on Confirm Email. Select your role and click on Complete Registration. After that, click on Create App. Enter a name for your app, preferably your business name, and then click on Next. After that, click on Others and then click on Next. Now, click on Business and then again click on Next. Under the Business Portfolio option, select the portfolio you created earlier and click on Create App. Your app has been successfully created. After creating your app, you need to go back to the Meta Business Suite. First, click on the View Details option next to the Business Verification Status. Then, click on the Start Verification button followed by the Get Started. Select your country and click Next. Next, you need to select your business type and then click Next again. If your business is registered, click on Registered and if it is not, select Not Registered. Fill in all the required details and click on Next. Now, select your business. If your business is not listed or the details are incorrect, click on My Business Isn't Listed and then click on Next. If you selected your business, you will see the Business Details tab where you need to click on Next. If you selected My Business Isn't Listed, you will be taken directly to the Business Verification tab. Now, select a method through which you want to verify your business. If you choose to verify your email, it will ask you to re-enter the registered email ID. Enter the email ID here and then click Send Email. 
a confirmation code will be sent to your email. Enter that code here and click next. If you selected my business isn't listed, you will see multiple verification method options apart from your email, such as phone call, SMS, WhatsApp message, domain verification, etc. You can choose any of these business methods to verify your business. Once done, your verification status will change to in review. The status can take up to 24 hours to be verified, but generally it gets completed within one to two hours. Once your verification is complete, the next step is to set up the WhatsApp business API. First, search for chat.lemonai.com and sign up. Fill in all the required details here. You can enter your personal mobile number here and then click on sign up button. Next, click on WhatsApp setup button. Now click on continue and then click on get started. Then click next. Again, click on next. After that, in WhatsApp business account name, enter the legal registered name of your business. And in the WhatsApp business display name, write that name which you want to show to your recipient when they receive your WhatsApp number. Then choose your WhatsApp business category and click on next. Now select the country code for the number you want to set up the API and fill in the number. Now select a way to verify your number and click on next. You will receive an OTP on your chosen verification method. Enter the OTP and click on next. Then click on continue. Now, Meta will verify your information which generally takes less than a minute. After that, our last step is to add the payment method in the business portfolio. For this, click on the add payment method button, then click on next. Again, click on next. Now, fill in your visa or MasterCard payment details and then click on save. An OTP will be sent to your number linked to your card. Enter that OTP here and your card will be verified within a minute. After that, in the payment method section, click the three dots next to your card and then click set as default. Click on set as default again and then click on done. Now, click on the add info button and fill in all your business legal register details, including the GST number and then click save. After adding the payment details, return to the Lemonia dashboard and click on finish button. Now, refresh your page. With that, your integration process is complete. But to ensure that your WhatsApp business API is working properly, first, click on the chat option here. Then, send a message from another number to your API number. If your message appears here, that's it. Your WhatsApp business API setup and integration are successfully completed. If your message doesn't appear here or if you're facing any issues during the steps, don't worry and contact us. The Lemon AI team is always available to help you. Now it's time to make your business stand out just like big companies, maybe Mintra, Amazon, whatsoever. And in this digital smart world, it's time to do smart marketing. So visit lemonai.com today and use WhatsApp Business API free for 15 days. To learn how to use the Lemon AI platform to run campaigns, you can watch our next video. The link is provided in the description box. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like it or if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe it. We'll be keep bringing more useful tips and tools for you. See you in the next video. Until then, keep watching, keep going with Lemon AI.